For this recording, I want to have a look at how we can draw a basketball. Really cool with all the indentations in there. Okay, so to start off with, I'm going to start a new drawing. You create a new document. I'm going to do a new um, part studio. Okay, same thing. Okay. On my part studio, I'm going to start by drawing on my front work plane, so a sketch. Then I need a circle drawing tool. Make sure I'm looking straight at the work plane. Start from the center, drag out a circle of 50 diameter. Okay, 50 diameter. And then take a line, make a vertical line coming through it, through the center. Click, escape. Then take your scissors and chop off half of the circle, leaving a semicircle. With the sketch tool live, you can click on the revolve tool. Yeah. So the face of the sketch is going to be the new um, image that we've got here. The axis is going to be the ver vertical line that we drew earlier. And there we have a sphere. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to hide that for the moment, so click on the eye to hide that. Then I'm going to start a new um, sketch on the front work plane again. Take another center point circle, start from that from the middle, drag it out, okay? And this one again is going to be 250, like so, okay? Then I'm going to take a, another circle, and this time I'm going to start that at the, um, on the edge of the circumference, but are directly above the, um, the center point here, okay? Drag that out. And this one's going to be 34, okay? 34 millimeters. So, okay. Um, we want another circle um, that's going to be one and a half millimeters wider than that. So we could start from the center and drag that out and make it 35.5 um, mil. That's one way to do it. Or the other way you can do it is to use the offset tool, this one here. Click on that circle. That will create a second circle that's five millimeters from there. Click. And there you get the actual measurement so you can adjust it. So we only want this to be 1.5 millimeters um, distance. Okay, so there's a gap, 1.5 mil. We want to mirror that on the bottom here. We could repeat the whole operation or we could just mirror it. To mirror it, we're going to take our mirror tool here, select the mirror line, which is going to be the horizontal um, edge of the, um, the plane here. Yeah. And then we select the entities that we want to mirror. So we want the first circle and the second circle. So we have a repeat on the other side there. Cool. Okay, come off your mirror tool. Now take your center point rectangle. So remember it's on the um, rectangle um, drop down, center point rectangle. We're gonna start this from the center here and drag out so it's beyond the, the width of the, the original circle, okay? Like so, I'm not, not, not bother about length, just as long as it's longer. And then the width of this, we're going to set to 1.5 mil. 1.5 mil. Okay. Now we're going to repeat that operation. So we start from this center here. Drag up that up it's this time. Again, beyond the width of the, um, the circle. Down to the circle. But this time the width of it is going to be 1.5 mil. Okay. okay. So we've got a cross going through the center. Brilliant. Okay. Now we're going to chop out bits that we don't need of this. So I'm going to take my scissors and just chop out the bits that I don't need. So I don't need the outer parts of these circles here, so I can take those off. So that one and that one, okay? And we can drop off um, at the bottom here. We can drop off this one and this one. And then if we look at our crosses here, so where the two lines cross here, the four around here we can chop out. So this one, this one, Okay, this one and this one, and then in the center, the four here, so there. So it's just where the two lines overlap. We want to lose those lines. You will see the residual line remaining underneath. Don't worry about that, just as long as the thick line is gone. And we can take up this line, and we can take up that line, and we can take up that line, and we can take up that line. Okay, that's all done there. Brilliant. Okay, that's all we need. Right, green tick that. Now take your extrusion tool here, okay? And we're gonna select that shape that we've just drawn, but we wanna make sure that it's this orange part here, 
so it's the, the, the sm small narrow lines we're collecting and not the, um, the large chunks here, segments of that part there. Click on that. Okay. And notice how it automatically cuts off at the end here, which is perfect. Right, we want to extrude this symmetric, okay, and it's going to be to a depth of 60 mil, okay, All right. So if you look at it from there, it's just trying to do that, which is not what we want it finally to do. We're going to remove this. So click on remove, okay, yeah. But also click with merge with all, okay, merge with all. And what that does, that re-brings out the original ball that you drew and then chops through it with our new extrusion, which is quite cool. So green tick that. So we end up with, uh, well, it seems to have disappeared from them, but that will come back. Don't worry, it will come back. Right. So let's have a look again at our front. We've got one more bit to do. So we're going to take a new sketch, click on the on the, the front work plane, select the circle again, center point circle, start from the middle, drag it out, and this needs to be um, 48.5 mil, so it's going to be one and a half mil less than the, the first circles that we did. So 48.5. 48.5 diameter. Press enter. Okay, cool. Then we um, put a line going through it, just like so, or um, vertical line. And then, as you can guess, we take our um, scissors and we chop off half the circle. Half. So we're left with a semicircle. Then we want to evolve this. Okay, so that's that face. And the axes is going to be the, um, the vertical line we did there. Okay. Now for this, we're not going to leave it on new. I need you to do it on add, add. Okay. Now we're going to merge with um, another part. So merge with all. Okay. All right. And the, the part we're going to merge with is the part one that shows up here. Okay. So that's what we're going to merge with. That's hidden at the moment. Okay. So merge with all that back, there we are, so we can hide that back, All right, and then green tick, and lo and behold, you have a basketball created with those lovely curves going around it. Let's press P to lose our work planes, and there we have that shape created, which looks really cool. Now, if you want to, next, you can start to colour in some of these panels, so I'm going to select this panel here, okay, and if I right click on it, and I go to edit, add appearance to face, Add appearance to face, that's one way to do it. Or what you could do is if you right click on the part here and then go to edit appearance here and then change the color on that, okay? So that gives you an all orange. And then if you zoom in, you can then pick these lines here, select those, right click, and then add appearance to face to then pick your black line there. And then you have a pretty cool looking basketball there. Okay, All right, looking forward to seeing how that looks for you. Well done.